Okay, in a domain environment, you'd be doing this on your PDC emulator, or if this was just a standalone server, you could just do it directly on the box. From command line, I am telling it to sync its time from a manual peer, that is its address. That's Manchester University, if you're interested. When that's done, I'm going to stop the Windows Time service. Once that stops successfully, I'm going to start it once again. And now that it's back up, I'm going to force it to sync with the reference that we gave it in the first command. This will take a few seconds. It should say the command is completed successfully. And just to make sure that it's worked, if we open up uh, the server's event viewer, and look in the system log, we should see an event ID 37, which is the second one down. That's the one that we're looking for. If I open that up, you can see it's currently receiving a valid data from, and that's the source that we gave it. You will also see an event ID 35 as well. That's us done. Don't forget, if you do this on the PDC emulator, your domain clients by default will take their time from it. Exit, and that's us done. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to come and visit us at www.pnetlife.com.